Wait a second, I'm recording the class now. Right now. Okay. So today we are going to talk about food. Yes? Food and drinks. Food and drinks. We are going to learn um, some vocabulary and we are going to put into practice that vocabulary. Okay. So that is a supermarket. in which we have first the vegetables vegetables the pronunciation of this word is different yes we say vegetables so we have here the carrot the cucumber the garlic we have the lettuce mushroom, onion, pepper, potato, pumpkin, and tomato, right? I'm going to repeat again. Carrot, cucumber, garlic, reduce, mushroom, onion, pepper, potato, pumpkin, tomato. So I'm going to accept something here. We continue. We're going to continue with the fruit, fruit. So we say, apple, banana, cherry, grapes, lemon, orange, peach, pear, strawberry, watermelon. Yes, these are the fruit. All right, I'm going to repeat. Apple, banana, cherry, grapes, lemon, orange, peach, pear, strawberry, and watermelon. So students, what is your favorite fruit? What is your favorite fruit? I'm going to write the question here. What is your favorite fruit? What's your favorite mango? Ah, that is good. I like mango too. What else? All right. <clears throat> so the apple, apple. Well, the apple is good. We're going to continue. Meat. Meat. Yes. How do you say meat in Spanish? Meat. Carne. Very good. Carne. So, uh, yes. Grapes. Uas. Grapes. Okay. So, we have. Beef, lamb, pork, and here we have the animals from which we take this meat, yes? We have the bacon, chicken, ham, meatballs, ribs, sausages, and stick. So this is like a very complete list of this meat. So questions about this? Remember bacon, tocino, pollo, yes? You have questions? Teacher, what, I have a question. Yes. What are the mea balls in Spanish? Uh, where? Which Net word? Ball. Ball. Meatball. So, meat, carne. Yes? Balls, bolitas. So, vendrían siendo eh, albóndigas. Yes? Unas bolitas de carne. Meatballs. 
Thank you, Tisha. You are welcome. Here we have costillas, ay, ribs, costillas. We have sausages, salchichas, yes. And we have the stick over here, which is a filete, yes, filete. All right, yes, that is jamón, jamón, okay? No more questions? Okay, so we continue. Well, we are going to continue with fish and seafood. Fish, pescado y comida de mar. Yes, pescado y comida de mar. Recordemos que esta palabra fish puede significar tanto pescado como pez. ¿sí? Puede ser el animal... Puede ser el animal o puede ser ya como tal eh, la comida. So, fish and seafood. So, we have octopus, salmon, sardines, tuna. Yes, this three. We continue. Questions about this? Do you like seafood? Yes or no? Yes, that's good. Delicious. We are going to continue. With the dairy products. Dairy products. How do you say dairy products in Spanish? What is that in Spanish? Lactose. Very good. Lactose. So we have... I'm going to erase this. We have butter, cheese, cream, ice cream, milk, milkshake, yogurt, yogurt, yes. Butter, cheese, cream, ice cream, milk, milkshake, yogurt. These are, <clears throat> these are the dairy products dairy products all right we continue here we have the cereal yes cereal so we have biscuit bread cereal corn flour hi flour pasta Rice and wheat. Yes, biscuit, bread, cereal, corn, flour, pasta, rice, and wheat. Questions about this vocabulary? Do you have questions? Wheat, trigo. Yes, here, trigo. What else? No more questions? All right. So we continue. Uh, remember that flour, that is harina. Yes, flour, harina. Biscuit, son galleticas. Esta palabra viene del francés. También está la palabra cookies. Yes. So, cookies. Remember that. I'm going to change the color to the black one. We continue. Ay. We have the legumes, legumes. So wait a second, I'm going to accept student here. I'm here. So legumes, we have beans, chickpeas, lentils, and peas. Yes, beans, chickpeas, lentils, and peas. Questions about this? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Um, the, uh, what, 
What is the name of those? All. <laughs> okay. What is the name of all of these um, food? No. No. Eh, teacher, me refieres que antes de que pasaras, que arriba decía algo? Como... Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿qué significa en español, señor teacher? Which one? No. Flow? No. No. Es lo que está. Legumes. Ah, here. Legumes. Or here. Yes. Well, in Spanish we can say like um, legumbres. Yes? Le legumbres, legumbres. I don't know how to say that. That is comida eh, saludable, por decirlo así. Son eh, generalmente los granos. Yes? So we have beans, frijoles, yes? Chickpeas, garbanzos, lentils, lentejas, and peas that can be um, guisantes. Yes, I don't know if you know this word. Guisantes or arvejas. Yes. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. All right, we continue. We have the fast food. How do you say fast food in Spanish? Comida rápida. Yes. So, we have candy bar, chips, hamburger, hot dog, pizza, and sandwich. Yes. They are pretty similar to Spanish, so we can continue. Here we have the sweets. Sweets. How do you say sweet in Spanish? Sweet. Dulces. Yes, dulces. So we have over here a cake, chewing gum, lollipop, sweet or candy. You know chewing gum? Chicles, yes. Do you like? Do you like it? Do you like chewing gum? I like the, the, the chewing gum. Ah, that's good. All right, we we'll continue. Here we have other food. Other food. Otros alimentos, right? So, we have eggs, eggs, yam, ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, olive oil, salt, sugar, sugar, and vinegar, vinegar. Questions about this? Mm, no. No questions. I have right. a question, teacher. Yes, tell me. Um, uh, ¿es, uh, ¿Es correcto que ya me sale en inglés? En español, perdón. ¿Cómo? ¿Es correcto que sale en inglés ya? Yum, yes. Mermelada, kind of that. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so we continue. Thank you, Razis. Over here we have the drinks. Drinks. How do you say drinks in Spanish? What is that in Spanish? Drinks. Bebidas. Yes. Bebidas. So we have. I'm going to go down. Beer, beer, coffee, hot chocolate, hot chocolate, orange juice, orange juice, soft drink, tea, water, and wine. These are drinks, yes? Beer, coffee, hot chocolate, orange juice, Soft drink, tea, water, and wine. So look, soft drink, refresco. 
Yes, un refresco. Soft drink. Or we can also say soda. Yes, do you remember this word? I'm going to write it for here. Soda. Soda. Yes, like Coca-Cola. Soda. All right. So, students, what is your favorite drink? What is your favorite drink? I'm going to read hot chocolate, chocolate, mm -hmm. coffee. I like coffee too. Tea. Ah, that's good. All right. So we continue. Questions on questions something now? Questions, doubts? All right. Hot chocolate for Samu. Ah, that's good. So we continue. Here we have the food prices food prices yes so los precios de cada alimento yes los precios de cada alimento qué pasa obviamente la moneda de cada país es diferente en este caso en este caso ahí vamos a utilizar la moneda de si no estoy mal esto es de 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 de, de Inglaterra, pounds. Pounds quiere decir libra esterlina, ¿sí? Es la moneda que se manejan allá, la libra esterlina, pounds. Y por acá tenemos pence, pence, que son los centavos, centavos, ¿ok? Pence, centavos, pounds, libras, right? Libras esterlinas. So, I'm going to change the size over here. We have here the prices. Look at this. This is the symbol of a pound. This is the symbol of a libra. Yes. So that is five pounds, cierto? Cinco libras esterlinas con sesenta y cinco, sixty-five pence, que significan centavos yes 65 pence centavos questions about this did we get it that is the way how we read these uh, prices esta es el, el, la forma de leer los precios ok en este caso que estamos hablando de libras esterlinas y centavos obviamente en cada país va a variar porque manejan una moneda distinta yes so we have here Six pounds, six pounds, sixty-seven pence, sixty-seven pence, yes, pences in this case, pences, all right? So, what is the question that we use for asking for the price of something? ¿Cuál es la pregunta que utilizamos para saber el precio de algo? Acá la tenemos. How much? How much? How much puede significar cuánto, ¿sí? Cuánto o cuánto cuesta. En este caso, how much is the cheese? How much is the cheese? ¿Cuánto cuesta el queso? Yes, how much is the cheese? So we have here the answer. Tenemos acá la respuesta. Just a second, I'm going to accept someone. It's five pounds 65 pences yes it's five pounds 65 pences all right so here we have the x or well let's say uh, the rice the rice yes como preguntaríamos el precio del arroz remember that arroz in english we say rice okay teacher i can i can answer yes you can uh, good morning how much is the rice correct very good very good marbelli safka isidora how much is the rice how much is the rice so the question would be, how much 
is the race. And what is the answer? According to this, what is the answer? Very good. So, very good, Safka. It's one pound, 29 pences. So, what is this? Si decimos que una libra, entonces, it's one pound. Yes. Acá no es necesario ponerle la S porque diríamos es una libra. Nos queda un poquito rara la estructura. So, it's one pound. Es una libra. Yes, una libra esterlina. It's one pound, 29 pence. Yes, 29 pence. All right. Clear this structure. Questions until now? Clear this structure? All right. So we continue. Here, look at this. How much is the garlic? How much is the garlic? It's 30 pence. It's 30 pence. Look at this. It's 30 pence. Acá ya no vale como tal una libra esterlina, sino que está en centavos. Yes? 30 centavos. We continue. How much are the eggs? How much are the eggs? They are one pound ninety five pence. Pay attention. Si el alimento es un alimento plural, en el caso de los huevos, que es plural, yo debo utilizar el verbo to be en plural. How much are are the eggs. Yes. ¿Cuánto cuestan los huevos? A diferencia en este caso de el ajo, ¿sí? Garlic, que es un alimento singular. Por lo tanto, yo digo, o utilizo el verbo to be conjugado de la forma singular. En este caso, is. How much is the garlic? Yes. Tengo que utilizar el verbo to be conjugado de acuerdo al pronombre. En este caso está singular. A garlic, ajo. ¿Ok? So, is, aquí estaríamos diciendo cuánto cuesta el ajo. ¿Sí? Cuánto cuesta el ajo y acá cuánto cuestan, cuánto cuestan los huevos. Yes. That is the difference. Clear this difference? ¿Clara esta diferencia? Debemos ser conscientes del verbo to be, cómo utilizarlo, ¿ok? Si está en singular o si está en plural. Ok, we continue here. Look, how much are the grapes? How much are the grapes? Grapes, plural, yes, plural. So, we have to use the verb to be conjugated in the plural form. In this case, are. How much are the grapes? And the answer is, they are. Acá debemos responder, ellas valen. Esto más o menos es como ellas valen. They are. ¿sí? Acá no podemos responder, it's. It's. Es para los alimentos en singular, ¿ok? It's para alimentos en singular. Singular. Alimentos en singular, ¿ok? They are la respuesta para los alimentos en plural. So that is the difference, the other difference. Esta es la otra diferencia. No solo en la pregunta, sino también en la respuesta. They are two pounds fifty. Two pounds fifty. Muchas veces, eh, no sé si lo han escuchado en las películas, pues ellos no especifican centavos, no dicen centavos. They are two pounds fifty. Dos con cincuenta. Entonces las personas ya saben, ah, dos dólares 
o dos libras esterlinas en este caso con 50 centavos. Yes. Muchas veces no lo dicen. All right, we continue. How much are the hazelnuts? How much are the hazelnuts? In this case, remember, they are in plural. Yes, they are in plural. Están en plural. Eh, hazelnuts, avellanas. Ok, avellanas. Or here. Las avellanas. How much are the hazelnuts? They are five. I'm going to go down a little. They are five pounds twenty-five. Yes, five pounds twenty-five. We continue. How much are the muscles? How much are the muscles? Muscles. It's plural. Yes, plural. So we have to use this structure. They are. They are six pounds. Six pounds sixty-seven. Here, six pounds sixty-seven. Muscles, mejillón. Yes. Esto es como mariscos. Can you that? We continue. How much is the ham? How much is the ham? ¿Cuánto vale el jamón? Acá ya es un alimento en singular. Por lo tanto, yo respondo con it's, it's. It's one pound ninety nine. It's one pound ninety nine. Yes, we continue. Here, how much are the peas? How much are the peas? Plural, yes, plural. Las arvejas. So the answer is they are. One pound fifty. They are one pound fifty. We continue. How much is the rice? It's one pound twenty nine. The rice, singular. So we answer it's. It's one pound twenty nine. Here, how much is the yam? It's one pound fifty nine. One pound fifty nine. Okay, clear this structure. Clara la forma, ¿cómo preguntamos por un alimento y cómo respondemos el precio de un alimento? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Vamos a continuar entonces con otra estructura. Sí, vamos a aprender estructuras sencillitas. So, in this case, we have this other presentation. Yes. This presentation was made by this teacher, which is Silvia. Estas presentaciones son presentaciones ya hechas que toca darles el crédito a la persona que lo hizo, right? So, we continue here. Vocabulary. What kind of food do you like? What kind of food do you like? ¿Qué clase de comida te gusta? What kind of food do you like? ¿Qué clase de comida te gusta? So, here... We have banana. And we have this question. Do you like banana? Do you like banana? So, we can answer. Podemos responder. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Esa es la forma corta de responder. ¿sí? Or no, I don't. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Students, do you like bananas? Seba says yes. Yes, says yes. Samu says yes. Okay, that's good. Yes, they are good. We continue. Remember, yes, I do. No, I don't. We continue. Students, do you like salad? Do you like salad? Do you like salad? Más o menos, well, más o menos, we say more or less. More or less. More or less. No, I don't. Samu, you don't like salad. Oh, my God. 
Well, we continue. Look, we can answer, hay otra manera de responder, un poquito más larga. Yes, I like it. Debemos poner eh, un pronombre en este caso. Yes, I like it. Sí me gusta. O oh, no, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Yes. Esta es una forma un poquito más larga de responder. Recordemos que este eh, acá vendría siendo la abreviación. Yes, I do. ¿Sí? Esta es la abreviación. Y en este caso, no... Esta es la abreviación, sería no, I don't, no, I don't, ¿sí? Tenemos entonces cuatro formas de responder. Dos de la forma corta, dos de la forma un poquito más larga, ¿ok? Yes, I like it, no, I don't like it. Yes, I do, no, I don't, ¿all right? Clear these structures, claras estas estructuras hasta el momento. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we are going to continue. Ice cream, ice cream. So, students, do you like ice cream? Do you like ice creams? More or less, más o menos, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Very good, Marbelli. Very good, Jose. Very good. So, yes, I like it or yes, I do. We continue. Students, do you like peas? Do you like peas? Do you like peas? Arbejas. Yes, I like it. Yes, I do. <clears throat> I like it more or less. Okay. Remember, you say, I like it. I like it more or less. I like it more or less. Me gustan más o menos. Well, that's good. We continue. Students, do you like spaghettis? Do you like spaghetti? Or do you like pasta? Do you like pasta? So, yes, I like it. Yes, I do. Yes, I love it. Yes, very good. That is a very good answer. We can also answer, yes, I love it. Sí, me encanta. Yes, I love it. With meat. Yes, it's delicious. All right, we continue. Milk, milk, milk. Ahora, vamos a cambiar los papeles. Ustedes me van a preguntar si a mí me gusta la leche. So, you are going to ask me. You are going to ask me. Yes, very good. Do you like milk? Do you like milk? Very good, Paula. Very good, Marbelli. Mm, more or less. More or less. For me, more or less. So you cannot drink milk. It's not good for your health. We can say, no es buena para mi salud. So it's not good for my health. No es buena para mi salud. Yes, it's not good for my health. All right, we continue. Students, ask me, ask me, ask me. Pregúntenme, ask me. Do you like chocolate? More or less, more or less. Very good, Marbelli, very good, Sebas. That is the structure. Do you like chocolate? More or less. And for you, students, do you like chocolate? Yes or no? Do 
Yes, I do. Yes, I love it. Yes, I love it. Yes, I do. All right. We continue. Students, do you like chicken? Do you like chicken? Yes, I like it. Yes, I like it. Very good. So remember, yes, I like it. Or no, I don't like it. Or yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I like it more or less. Remember, we say, I like it more or less. I like it more or less. Debemos utilizar este pronombrecito de acá para que nos quede eh, completa la oración. Ok. I like it more or less. Ok. We continue. Well, here we have some exercises online. They are pretty easy. Tenemos unos ejercicios en línea. Son demasiado fáciles. Vamos a poner un poco en práctica el vocabulario que hemos aprendido. So I'm going to share the link here on the chat. And I'm going to share my screen with this web page. So, are you seeing the web page? Yes, we have a hamburger here. We have 14 questions. Yes? Okay, perfect. So, Number one, I already said the answer. Ya dije la respuesta. It's pretty easy. That is a hamburger. Yes, a hamburger. Question number two, what is that? What is that? D, sandwich. Yes, sandwich. Bread, bread is solo el pan. See, ¿Sí? bread. Quiere decir pan. Right? We continue. Number three. So what is this? Yes, very good, Sebas. So bread. In this case, yes, bread. Number four. What is that? Yes, D. That is the correct answer. Number five, what is that? Fish, yes, fish. Number six, what is that? Very good, Sebas. So, milk, C. Number seven, what is that? Very good, Paula, Karen. B, water, water. What is that? Very good, a hot dog. Number nine, what is that? Correct, meat. Number 10, very easy. So, that is a pizza, yes. Number 11, what is that? Very good. Teacher, I... Yes? Ya terminé ese ejercicio. All right. So wait for me, please. Espera All right. So here she is. Number 12, what is that? X. Very good. X. 13. What is that? So, ships. Yes, ships. 14, what is that? 14. Do you remember? Yes, very good, Marbelli. Samu. Bacon, bacon. All right, questions, doubts? Okay, so we are going to continue with this second exercise. I'm going to share you the link. Wait a second, it is charging. Está cargando por acá el link. 
Ya se los comparto. Está demoradito el link. All right. Se los voy a ir compartiendo por acá por el... Por el chat. Bueno, no han cargado, pero entonces sigamos con el PDF. Mientras nos cargan, vamos a seguir con el PDF, que tenemos muchos más ejercicios, ¿ok? So, food game, food game. Are you seeing the PDF? Yes. Estamos viendo el PDF. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, a mí no me han cargado los, los links, entonces vamos a esperar un, un ratito acá que nos salga. Vamos a seguir entonces con el PDF. So, we have food game. What is this? What is this? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Ice cream. An ice cream. Un Helado. Recordemos que como empieza por vocal, debemos utilizar an ice cream. We continue. What is this? What is this? Some juice. Some juice. Some juice. Next week, la semana que sigue, vamos a ver la estructura de estas palabras. Some juice. Yes. We continue. What is this? Chicken, very good Paula. So chicken. Very easy. Chicken. We continue. What is this? Bread. 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 We continue. What is this? Remember? Corn. Yes. Very easy. Corn. We continue. What is this? Onion. Yes. So. Onion. Recordemos que garlic es ajo. Yes. Um, por acá teníamos aubergine. Aubergine es berenjena. Ok. Aubergine. Berenjena. Ok. We continue. What is this? Green beans. Yes, green beans. Courgette, remember, calabacín. That is calabacín, right? We continue. What is this? What is this? Peach, yes, peach. We continue. What is this? Yes, melon, melon, or here. We continue. What is this? Ay, se me demoran los, los comentarios. Pong granite, pong granite, yes, pong granite, yo sinceramente nunca la he probado, es una fruta, granada, yes, granada. All right, we continue. What is this? What is this? Cherries, very good, cherries, cerezas, cherries. 
We continue. What is this? Now this thick. How do you say that in Spanish? What is this in Spanish? Ego, yes. Bueno, también creo que se le dice breva, ¿no? So, thick. That is correct. Thick. All right, we continue. What is this? Very easy. Wrap it. Eat this. Carrot. Yes. Carrot. Carrot. We continue. What is this? Very good, Isidora. Yes, very good. Uh, Samu, so aubergine. Aubergine. We continue. What is this? A coliflor. That is coliflor. Yes. Lentil. Lentil. Do you like lentils? Yes or no? Yes. I don't like it too much. I don't. All right. We continue. What is this? Cheese. Very easy. Cheese. What is this? Very good, Marbelli. Sebas, Jose, Safka. Oil. Oil. That's aceite. Oil. What is this? What is this? Well, in the etiqueta tenemos la clave. So, butter. Yes. Look, here it has, we have the clue. So, butter, butter. We continue. What is this? Yes, correct. Isidora, Sebas, sweets, sweets, sweets. And we have finished this exercise. All right. I'm going to go up for the links. Vamos a ir arribita por acá. Estamos presentando problemas técnicos, technical problems. Or here. Teacher, I... Te sugiero que te acercas un poco al internet de tu casa si no si no te está funcionando bien porque a mí ya me funciona y tengo un cable que me está conectando con el internet. Okay, Samu, thank you. Yes, I'll have that into account. Va a tomarlo en cuenta, mi cablecito directo. Va a tocar. Bueno, por acá ya me cargó. Vamos a ver entonces. Are you seeing the web page? Yes. 17 questions. 17 questions about the vocabulary. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, what is the correct answer? What is this? Very good, Karen. That is the spaghetti. Yes. Number two. What is that? Yes, chicken. Very easy. Number three. What is that? Very good. Savka, Marbelli. Stick. How do you say stick in Spanish? Filete, yes, very good. We continue. Number four. What is that? Very easy, similar to Spanish. Pasta, yes. Number five. Rice, very easy. Number six. Yes, sausages. Number seven. What is that? 
well, it's kind of confusing this image. But it's like beer, yes? Beer. Parece un juguito, más bien. It's just a beer. Number eight. What is that? Ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Number nine. What is that? Very good, Karin. Jose? It's a yogurt. Yogurt. Number ten. What is that? That is T. T. Number eleven. What is that? Yes, coffee. Twelve. What is that? It's a cola. But give me a synonym of this. Give me a synonym of this. A synonym. Soda, yes. Another synonym. Soft drink. Very good. Soft drink or soda. Very good. We continue. Number 13. What is that? Wine. 14. What is that? Sugar. Sugar. Okay, in cuitos. Sugar. What is that? Yes. B. 16. What is that? Juice. Very good. And finally, 17. What is that? Yes, soft drinks, soft drinks. All right, students, questions or doubts about the food, about the structures that we learn? Do you like? Yes, I like. Yes, I like it. No, I don't like it. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Questions about how much, the structure, how much? How much are the soft drinks? How much is the rice? No questions? All right, remember that tomorrow we are going to do... Eh, like a little review. Mañana vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. Vamos a volver a ver un poco lo que es eh, la, la comida, y sí, los alimentos. Vamos a verlos de nuevo. Eh, vamos a ver también los medios de transporte con sus debidas preposiciones. Eh, ¿Qué más vamos a ver? Partes del cuerpo. Entonces... I'll see you tomorrow at 10, eh, 10 a.m. Calabacín, that is courgette. I'm going to write it here. Courgette. Courgette. Yes, that's it. All right, so if you don't have questions or doubts, I'll see you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Take care. See you tomorrow, Bye. take care. Have a next, next, have a very good day. Thank you, Samu. Same for you. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.